Hey you guys, in the last tutorial uh, I taught you guys how to ease into Visual Basic and I showed you what the properties were, the toolbox, and where you're going to be coding at. So I showed you a little bit of the environment that you're going to need to know and as we progress on here I'm going to show you guys even more. Today we're actually going to start programming and we're going to create our first program. So let's go ahead and open up Visual Basic. You're going to go into File and you're going to create a new project. Go ahead and click Visual Basic. Click uh, Windows Form Application in here. Type in the name of your program that you're going to want. I'm just going to name it uh, Tutorial 2. So here we have our first form. What we're going to do is just display a message. We're going to have a button and we're going to display whatever the user inputs. We're starting off hard here but it's pretty simple click what I click do what I say and everything will turn out great and there's no way you can ever mess this up uh, it may not work but you're not gonna mess anything up inside the app inside the program so go ahead and, and we're gonna rename this button and click show message type so, show message so we have show message there this is where we're gonna input text so go ahead and double click show message now we can input what we want. Uh, we're going to do MSG box and then in parentheses you're going to type in text box one dot text. That is literally our first code. So message box parentheses text box one dot text. And if you mess up and you need to uh, redo what you just typed, you just hit control Z. You know, literally. Uh, do what you didn't mean to do. Undo what you didn't mean to do. Then to redo is control Y. So those are some hotkeys for you guys. Uh, we want to resize this so it looks about the correct size it should be. Then go ahead and debug the application by hitting start. So here and now when we type in, right now if we just hit show message it's not going to show anything because we haven't inputted anything into the application. So let's go ahead and type in Hello YouTube. How are you guys? So when you go ahead and hit show message, we have hello YouTube. How are you guys? Now, as you can see, we can't click behind the environment and change it, so that's good. We're not going to have any issues there. And I wouldn't see why we would it in the first place, even if we did change it. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and add a second line. I just control C and control V. When I click the object, I just hit control C, then control V will actually duplicate it. So go ahead and double click the show message. We're going to actually make it so there's two variables. So we have text box one dot text. And let's say someone wants to put in the second line. Let's go ahead and put a and sign plus a space. So make sure you put parentheses space parentheses and then space and sign and then you're going to want to type in text box 2 dot text what this is saying here is we're going to display the first line of text which is text box 1 that is this then we're going to put a space between this and then the text box 2 so basically what it's going to look like is so text box one says is hey. Then it's going to say input space. So then we have hey space. And then it's going to say hey text box two is also you. So the total, if we add all this together, it's basically going to look like this. Hey, space, you. So basically, text box one plus a space plus text box two is equal to this. So that's basically how it's going to work. Then it's going to display it for you guys. So we can go ahead and hit start. And then we can type in hey, and then just type in you. 
and it's going to say hey you and there's that space that I said that would get added in there now what would it look like if we took out this space we can go ahead and do that so now if we type in hey oops, you hey you but there's no space in between it so that would definitely be an issue and we can do as many text boxes as we want until the computer begins to lag out so that's all for this uh, video I just wanted to kind of start off a little strong now normally when you display a message you're, you can display it in a different way and uh, stay tuned for the next video we are going to do messages for this video the next video and the following one after that Hope to see you guys in the next one.